Hi, it's John Robbins here and uh, just another quick help video for you on a couple of WordPress plugins that um, one I've known for a long time and I've been using it for a long time and another one that I've known about for some time but I've never really saw the value of using it until now. We're looking at a post that is not yet published. I'm about to publish this post. However, if you look at that post itself, you can see that we've got some nice different text here in red. I've managed to highlight some colors here. So as we've got the background of the text highlighted in yellow, if I just scroll down a little bit here, I've got blue writing with yellow there and scroll down a bit here. This is where the video is going to go and I'm going to upload a video in just a moment. And I'm going to use a special tool for that, which is actually called Video Sidebar Widgets, which is a fantastic little tool because it allows you to put short code for video in and your video, once it's played, doesn't actually get YouTube related videos coming up after it. So it stops that from happening. People can still click on to YouTube from the video, but nevertheless, this really stops other videos from playing in the background. So it's a great little tool. The other tool I want to show you, which is responsible for this text is called Ultimate Tiny MCE. That allows you to alter the text from within the site. So you'll see that in just a moment. This is the site, as you probably know it. Video I'm going to upload in just a moment, but I want to just run through this. That there, if you look here, We've got all different types of fonts that we can actually use now. And we can actually use different font sizes, which are there. And loads and loads of different font sizes you can use. So whereas a lot of the WordPress layouts these days have just the headings, we've got heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four. In fact, that one there, if we click on it, you'll find it's heading two. Um, that's all paragraph there from there on. I've only put two headings in this post. So I'm not really trying to search engine optimize this post. It's just a, a post really for my subscribers to come and have a look at. Search engine optimization is really going out the window with this one. That's that. Um, that's the select background color. That is the text color. We put smiley faces in as well. Uh, that one there is a fast way to insert images. And that is actually the other plugin, which is video shortcode. And the other thing this plugin does, which I switched on, are shortcodes for other things. So there are other plugins in here that we got shortcodes for. and this actually just highlights them, puts them all in one place for you so you can use them very quickly. So that's Tiny MCE, which is now the ultimate Tiny MCE. So if we go to the plugins page, I'll just scroll down so you can see which it is, ultimate Tiny MCE there, okay? And if we click on the settings there, I'll just go in and show you exactly what this plugin's actually got for you, which is quite a lot. I've not turned an awful lot of it on because I don't really need to use an awful lot there, okay? So we've got font selection button, font size, Cut and copy, well, I don't need to do that because I do that on the keyboard anyway. We've got background color picker, which I've switched on there. Foreground color picker, which is also on. Horizontal rule, that puts a line across your website. Visual aid button, anchor button for anchor text. A lot of these things I'm not going to use, but other bloggers may well use quite a considerable amount of these different items that are here. HTML code magic button, for example, is a good one. HTML code button. You can put all sorts of things in here. Print button. No idea why somebody would want to print, but uh, it's there if you should you wish to. And here's a good one that a lot of people actually use, which is insert YouTube video button. A lot of people, believe it or not, still don't know how to insert YouTube videos into their posts. So that one does it for you. And it, it can come up on that menu just above where the usual menu for WordPress actually is. There's lots and lots of things you can do with Ultimate Tiny MCE. You know, I mean, if we look at the page again, you could actually use this to actually build a squeeze page, do a sales page. You can do anything really that you can do on some of the more expensive themes to make it look like a squeeze page and a sales page. So, you know, there's lots and lots of things that you can actually use this particular plugin for. Um, I've known about it for a little while in fairness, but I've never actually used it. And I thought, why not use it and let's have a quick look. You notice there's some other plugins here as well. Um, that one there is um, obviously a social plugin. A new one that I've added again here is Facebook comments. And if you just put Facebook comments in, and search for the plugin then you'll find it's there so let's just go into here now and we'll have a look at the other one because i got another plugin here which is video sidebar widgets so we'll just open that one up a sec and video sidebar widgets you can see the icon there you can do a lot with this okay but it gives you this short code for videos which stops other videos from coming up on the screen after a video is played if i go to another page on this site in a moment this is actually a preview page i can show you what i mean with that play that video Hi, it's John Robbins here. First of all, a big thank you for stopping by and taking a look at... Pause it by there. By the way, that's that's a very good looking guy back there. <laughs> 
I used to be a very good looking guy, but I got old, I'm afraid. So uh, anyway, let's move this one right across here and let's hit play now. And you'll see at the end of it now. There we are. Absolutely nothing. Just a blank screen. OK, so instead of showing related YouTube videos now, that just shows a blank screen. So that's a great tool as well. OK, I will put the widget names just below the video. And all you need to do is go to plugins, add new video sidebar widgets. Obviously, I can't um, install this because it's already installed. But nevertheless, this is the process you go through and you'll find there it is there. OK. It's almost got five stars. It's a great one. So we just actually install that and off it goes. So it'll play all types of videos. By the way, it's not just YouTube. It's Vimeo, Blip TV, Google Video, and it plays just about anything. And it's also got a tiny MCE editor button as well. And if we just go for ultimate tiny MCE, there it is there. You can see I've already got it in there because I've obviously used this quite a bit now. And it's auto finding it for me, ultimate tiny MCE, and just click install because I've actually already got it installed. Okay, so that's those two plugins there for you. And the other one was, if you want to get people to comment on your posts, so you just scroll down here, and there it is there, which is called Facebook Comments. So if we just put Facebook Comments in there, it should find that as well, but it's, again, it's already installed. Now I know there's a lot of plugins like this about, but these are the ones that I found to be the best that's the one that I use, but there's quite a choice here. Should you wish to have a little look around and experiment, it's up to you. Well, I promised you that I would show you this little thing in action right now. So if we go to the post that I just did, I haven't published this post yet. And if you're in local video domination 2.0, then I'm sure you probably know why. So all we do now is I'm going to put the video right by here. I'm going to leave a space. You don't even have to go into HTML for this. Okay, click on that button there can ask you for a code and if you go to the YouTube video there that's the code after the equals okay so copy it from there and we're now going to pop that into that there it's YouTube is a source 425 by 344 well, I do 550 so as it fills the page a little bit and not autoplay you can actually set this to autoplay if you want to and we'll insert it into the post that simple so now I've just published that video on YouTube. I've not pinged it. I've done any RSS feeds yet. I'm not really interested in the SEO value of the video or the post on the site because this is not what I'm aiming for. This is for people that have signed up to my courses and some additional training and some help for people because I like to give back and I like to continue to give back to people that are on my list. And just to show you again, what do you expect? If I just hit preview on that one now, it should bring it up in that box there. So that's what that post looks like now. And I think you'll agree that it's a little bit more sexy than the standard post on WordPress and you can do an awful lot with it. Whilst I'm here, let's just center that video and it really is this simple with this particular plugin, okay? And we're gonna preview that now. Off it goes there and you'll see now that that's now nice and centered. Okay, so we got a centered video there and that is really, really easy to do. I'll center this text as well while we're here and those are obviously links and we'll center those too. And that should make it look a little bit more sexy than it already does. Hit preview again, and we'll get an updated version of that post with those links centered. There you go. If you wanted to learn a little bit more about WordPress, by the way, if you click on the WordPress Classroom icon by here, that'll take you over to WordPress Classroom. And there are a series of 12 videos that will show you the very basics, really, of um, WordPress. So if you're not sure about WordPress, then that's a, a great avenue to explore. Um, there is a paid version of it, of course. Um, however, you will get emails quite frequently, in fairness, with lots of tips and tricks on using WordPress. So you don't necessarily have to sign in and then pay for that course. But if you already know about WordPress, then, you know, you're not going to need that, are you? But if you're sort of at the start of your career and you need to know a bit more about WordPress, then for me, WordPress Classroom is highly recommended. It's been about for a long, long time. It's a very ethical program. And, you know, it's, it's one of those that really does represent great value for money should you wish to sign up anyway okay so this video has gone on far too long so those are the plugins there for you tiny mce and we've also got the video sidebar widgets and we've also got the facebook comments plugin as well which are all free plugins that you can use for your sites starting right now hope that's helped you all anyway another bit of uh, free trading from me 
And that's just as a thank you for being on my list. John Robbins, signing out.